Let's go over a few things with the Turning G Evolution Radio. First off, we'll take off the cover and we'll turn it on. Go ahead and uh, go over the manual. It'll show you how to charge. All you do is uh, plug in a USB here into the uh, transmitter and you plug it into the computer and it charge itself. Of course, they give you uh, identification right there. Like right now, it's about halfway charged. We have another model already picked, but we'll go ahead and get started in that in a minute. This is switch A. B, C, and you also have switch here, a roller, and we're not going to use it, so you can just push it in while it's not being used. Okay, you can see these light up and change. You can control the lighting here, and again, we'll go through that in a second, and the manual can run you through that. Oh, there's tons of videos on, uh, you know, on the internet. Uh, just get on YouTube and you know the uh, plenty of information in there let's go ahead and pick a model and we'll hit up select a model and we'll go here will be number four but whichever one you're on and we'll go ahead and back out it says yes and we'll pick a name Scroll down, model name. Let's go back here, and if we hit the back button, you can see it's erasing it, and that's what we want to do. We'll hit the capital, and let's name this square rail. And of course, you, uh, you know, name it what you want. And there we go. We'll back out. Yes. And we'll back out again. And there we are, square rail. Let's go ahead and if you, first of all, if you notice now, switch A, switch B here. Reposition switches. I'm sorry. This is A, this is B, and this is C. So B. C and um, you'll see what happens here when we move it. And right now, these are in conjunction or work together, but we don't want to. We're going to change that. Right now, switch A or switch B rather, <laughs> you can see it here. And switch C, you can see it here. Let's go to switch C. We're going to put that on no. And that way, C doesn't work anymore. Just A. And we're good with that. Let's go into mode. And let's, again, let's back out. Capitalize it. We're going to call this Addy. And again, uh, you know, whatever you want it to be. These are going to be some of the modes we're going to set up in a little bit. Now you have says Addy. Here we'll go to the middle position. There. And we'll back out again to clear it. We're going to call this Horizon. And again, this is going to be another mode that we're going to set up when we go to Beta Flight. And we're H O R. Z I. We'll back out again. You see it there. We'll go all the way down on the switch, mean away from you. And we're going, let's clear it. And we're going to name this one. Acro Trainer. Okay, let's back out. And again, you can name this anything you want. And now you'll see that's all the way up. 
on this switch, and Horizon, and Aqua Trainer. Okay, we have our modes set up. Now the other thing we want to do on modes, if you notice, in any in in every position here, you can set a value. So. So we're going to pick that number and we're going to go down. We're going to set this at 1100 and we'll look at that when we're in the program again setting up modes. We have the checkpoint, or we'll hit check to save it. Horizon we're going to leave at 1500 and Acro. Here we're going to run this up to like 1900, 18 to 1900. We'll leave it there. We can adjust it later when we're actually in beta flight setting up the controller. So here we go, Addy at 1100, Horizon 15, and Acro Trainer at 18. So now we're set up. And again, we'll, when we're into beta flight, we'll adjust that. Here you can set your timers. I'm not going to do that. We're actually going to, uh, on OSD, in our um, in beta flight, we're going to set up a uh, low battery uh, alert. So I'm not going to do that here. But again, it's in the manual and it's all over the internet. Or if you need some help from me, you know, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you through that. I use them all the time, especially for planes. Let's go back. Let's go into the system now. We've already picked our model. We don't want to mess with reversing yet. We don't mess with, we're not going to mess with endpoints yet. Uh, auxiliary channels. We're actually going to use C to um, arm our motors. So let's set that up in the transmitter. So look at our auxiliary channels. Let's go to 6 and we're going to pick the switch we're going to use. And that's going to be C. Remember, A, B, C. So we're going to pick that. And say yes. And we can swipe over one that gives us uh, our battery. Um, you know, how it's charged or what value it's at. Uh, you know, how charged it is. And we're going to go this way. And if you notice, channel 2 is your pitch. Channel 1 is your aileron, channel 3 is your throttle, channel 4 is your rudder or yaw, channel 5 is the mode switch we just set, channel 6 is the uh, channel that we're going to use and the switch we're going to use to arm the motors. And you can see it working there. And it goes all the way up to 8 if you're setting other things. Okay. So let's go ahead and swipe back. And um, let's get back in it. Sub trim we're not going to mess with right now. Fail safe we're not going to mess with right now. We are going to check it. And with the receiver that we're going to be using on this, it automatically sets a fail safe. So we'll check it done. We'll make sure it's working. If you ever need to set that up again, you always want to make sure failsafe works. And what that means is that if you lose power or if you lose signal, the, it's going to do what you tell it to do. If it's set uh, with the plane or, or uh, multi-rotor flying. So in other words, if it's not set, it's just going to continue going and you don't want that. You want to, uh, I basically set it so that it just drops out of the sky. I want it to land and land quick. Uh, or crash rather, crash quick so it doesn't, uh, you know, cause any injury to anybody. If you get into that situation though, you know, always make sure your fail safe works. We're going to bind in a little while, we're going to uh, bind the uh, receiver. LED setup, and that's going to be to set these up again, you know, check your manual. Output, out, output mode. We're going to use PPM and iBus. And 
we'll check that when we're in beta flight. Stick mode, we're in mode two, and you, most everyone here in the US flies mode two. So you really don't have to do anything with that, but we just check. And pretty much I think we're done. Now the firmware, uh, we've already updated it here, but um, you know I would update it when you first get one. Um, okay, and I think that's about it on here. So our radio is ready to uh, get into beta flight to set this thing up. Okay, we're going to bind your Turnigy Evolution transmitter to your receiver. So let's go to receiver bind. What we'll need to do is hold this little button right here down while you plug in. It's easier if you have two people. Okay. Okay. Now let's let it go. You can see the light is blinking. Let's go ahead and disconnect the power. And we'll get out of binding. This particular receiver does not have telemetry. If you did, it would show here under RX that the receiver is bound. But let's go ahead and plug it back in, the quad. If we get a steady light, it means that it's bound. So that's all you have to do to bind. Just go again, receiver bind. Hold the little button down, plug it in. You'll get a series of tones. Your red light will be blinking on your receiver. Unplug it, get out of this mode, plug it back in, and you're good to go. Pretty simple. See you next time.